Here, Bavarian authorities for the care of historical monuments are exploring the ground more closely with a magneto scanner. The device, which they developed themselves, uses four sensors to measure the finest variations in the magnetic field of the ground, which in turn enables more precise identification of the ancient foundations. This technology is so sensitive that the measuring vehicle has to be made of wood or plastic, as even the tiniest of metal particles would lead to false results. Although the magnetic approach is not the only geophysical testing method, it is particularly efficient. Like a doctor x-raying a patient, the archaeologists are given a detailed image of what lies beneath the ground. The advantage of this magnetic approach is that they can record large areas of between one and two hectares per day. They transfer the recorded measurements onto the computer in order to generate a kind of simulated photograph of the ground. Digital image processing software is then used to transfer the rows of numbers into a high contrast picture. The results are clear images of structures hidden under beds of grass. This magnetic approach can measure up to two meters down, but scientists are still not totally happy. Scientists also use resistance mapping, which uses the ground's conductivity. It recognizes changes in ground resistance and can be an indicator of stone foundations or streets. Things that do not contain any metal cannot be so closely identified using the magnetic field method. Resistance mapping is far more time consuming, but it is widely used at these Roman sites. To sum it up, one could say that the magnetic method provides the overview and the electric method the detail. A computer is then used to combine all the results of the different methods. Even data accrued in the magnetic tests provides a good deal of information about what is under the ground. And when the electric results are added to the existing measurements, scientists have a detailed impression of the archaeological finds. The whole process enables the creation of a specific three-dimensional reconstruction of an ancient construction without as much as one spade breaking the ground.